Hello beautiful friends and family. I'm Delicious Ami and you're welcome to my channel. It's the festive season and that's why I dedicated my time to make you this book as stew recipe. Kindly sit back and trust me, this one you will enjoy it. The full list of ingredients used in this recipe will be dropped in the comment section and also in the description box. Mbuka stew is one of my favorites because it involves me using all the local spices, all the local ingredients I have around me and producing a beautiful pot of goodness. This is the kind of stew you crave for this is a kind of stew sold by the roadside and the marketplaces and you know those rural areas yes this is that kind of stew you crave whenever you want something local or when you know you don't want to eat ginger you don't want to eat garlic you want to eat you know the authentic bukanes this also this, you can also call this yabasira kind of stew yes this one mm, i really enjoyed it Ensure to use the proteins you're comfortable with. For me, I love goat meat. I'm a goat meat fan. That's why I'm using goat meat. I'm using tribe and I'm using pomo. The Ghanaians call it kele wele. <laughs> Ghanaian fans in the house say hi. The Ghanaians call it kele wele. But here in Nigeria, we call it pomo. I don't like using seasoning cubes in my stew. That's why I try to make my own natural seasoning. We're going to be blending the locust beans, the crayfish, and one whole onions. Blend this into a smooth paste. We'll be using this in the stew. If you get this right, you would not need extra seasoning while making your stew. This covers up for seasoning cubes. Seasoning my meat with just seasoning cubes, onions, and salt. I did not add water to these proteins because goat meat has its own moisture which comes out when it gets heated. So if you notice, after boiling, after steaming this meat for 3 minutes, the goat meat, the tribes, and the pomo brought out its own moisture. You would see this um, liquid i got this even without adding water to this proteins i prefer cooking my meat this way because it gives it more flavor and i bleached my palm oil off camera and in another video i'll be showing you how to bleach palm oil safely at home add one onion to the bleached oil then you fry your proteins, excluding the pomo. Please do not fry your pomo, but you can fry the goat meat and the tripe. I fried mine till it's golden brown. I also fried my dried barracuda fish and my dried um, mackerel off camera. I can't imagine Buka stew without dry fish. To me, it can never be complete. Dry fish has this authentic taste it gives to Buka stew. So for me, I can exclude goat meat but you see this smoked mackerel and um, smoked barracuda fish mm, i cannot exclude these two and the same oil i fried some onions kindly disregard the amount of oil you're seeing in this pan oil police please disregard the amount of oil you're seeing in this pan i will be discarding i'm sorry i'll be extracting 80 percent of this out after making this stew 
please disregard the amount of oil you're seeing in this pan then i saute my onions to golden brown and then added my blended seasonings which consists of the onions the locust beans and the crayfish kindly note you can substitute locust beans for ogiri ogiri okwei or dawa dawa yes you can see how luscious this looks after frying it i fried this under low heat for 10 minutes more but note that when making stew you need oil that's because you don't want the tomatoes to cook you want them to fry you can add as much oil as you you can add as much much oil as you want but kindly note that after making the stew to discard them out thank you after these added my tomatoes these tomatoes were boiled down to evaporate some of its moisture to reduce the cooking time we don't want to spend the whole day because we are making stew and then i turn that you know stir it and stir it it just looks so beautiful and right now my whole house smells buka stew buka stew buka stew kindly note for the palm oil it has to be bleached to give you this authentic buka taste I leave this to fry under low heat for 20 minutes. I love frying my stew. The stew just has to be fried. For me, I love frying my stew. If you notice, this stew has been frying under low heat for 20 minutes. And you can see it's thickening up. It's looking beautiful. You know, it's looking luscious. And yeah, it smells great. It smells great also. I added my meat stock into this my meat stock is well seasoning it has the right amount of salt and seasoning cubes and do not forget we will not be adding any extra salt or extra seasoning into this too because our meat stock covers up for that and also our initial marinade covers up for this try this method and you will notice that you will use less salt and less seasoning cubes in your stews which are way more healthier i introduced the fried proteins back into the stew to add its own distinctive taste to the stew at this point feel free to add all your proteins both the fried proteins non-fried ones if you have grilled fish grilled salmon whatever you have just you know just add it in at this time added some boiled eggs to this that's because i love eggs in my stew and i garnished this with some scent leaves scent leaves heightens the localness in this stew right. i have a lot of videos interesting videos in this channel kindly take your time sit back and watch my other videos trust me i have a whole lot in stock for you If you've watched up to this moment, what are you waiting for? Kindly subscribe to this channel. Kindly like this video. When you like the video, it improves the visibility of my videos. Kindly like this video. Kindly subscribe. Kindly drop your beautiful and warm comments in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear what you feel. What do you think? Will you be recreating this recipe? Let's talk. Let's become friends in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my other videos. Have a beautiful day ahead.